All rise. Judge Bundy B. Court is now in session. Judge, this is case number JVB1040, Golden Case. Thank you. You're welcome. You all may be seated. Okay, Ms. Golden, you brought this case before the court. What's yes, going on? Yes, This is um, my baby father, Jaleel Scott. I'm here to place him on child support for okay. our child, Emory II. You mad at him? A little bit. Oh, okay. Why are you mad at him? He's claiming that he only makes $40,000 a year when I know he makes well over that and he's not taking care of our child. Okay. And this started off one night, we were bar hopping. I'm a bartender. Okay. And you know, things got carried away. What do you mean by things got carried away? How little Emery was made. Oh. And well, I don't need those details, but. You know, he didn't believe that it was his child. Oh, okay. So yeah, you guys were bar hopping and then. Yes, ma'am. So you left your job, he came to your job, and then y'all went bar hopping and had some drinks? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then you guys ended up getting together and you got pregnant? Right. All right, and so he's mad at you because you got pregnant? He didn't believe that it was his child. Why would he think, well, you know what? I'll ask him that. So you want him to pay child support today? Yes, ma'am. All right, have we done DNA testing? Yes, ma'am, several of those. Several, okay. And all with his name on that paper. Okay. And the DNA saying that it was his. And I see the last test. He has been confirmed as the father, so there is no dispute there. All right, sir? Why are you mad at her? Because I'm, I'm going to tell you my side of the story, all right? All right, let's hear it. All right, I was at the bar with my boys, you know, kicking it. It was Super Bowl weekend. So, okay. you know, Kansas City, you know. So, you know, I'm just minding my own business, looking at the screen. All of a sudden, I see this. Hennessy bottle in front of me and this this girl. I'm like, what? So she gonna she gonna offer me a drink talking about you just you could take one. I'm like, I'm I'm trying to be sober tonight, you know, I'm trying to go home and you know, kick it with the boys, play some dominoes and spades, you know. But, you know, I, I said, why not? You know, I took one, then you know what happened, one turned into another, then another. Then next thing I know, I wake up the next morning, she in my bed. I'm like, how you get here? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I, okay, I see why you're upset. You didn't intend for that to happen. I right? didn't, not not at all. Oh, okay. She bamboozled you. She sure did. Okay. All right. Well, you know there is a baby here, and you're the father. So whether she bamboozled you or not, you have a baby that you need to take care of. And I'm, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. But, you know, I just don't like the way she did it. Okay. I understand. I understand. You want to apologize to him? I don't. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like no apologies will be happening today. Mr. Or ever. Scott. So... This is what we're going to do. We're going to order you to pay child support. This baby, is this baby on health insurance? She's on Medicaid. What is this baby's name? Emery. Emery. Well, I mean, how do you spell her name? E-M-E-R-Y. Should have been Jaleel. Emery. I don't think Jaleel is a pretty girl name, do you? That's all right. Right oh. after her mommy. Well, you know what? That could have been something that you entertained if you'd have been taking care of the baby and not saying it wasn't yours. You'd agree with me, right? I guess so. Okay, all right. So Emery, she, you said she's on Medicaid and I heard you mention something about $40,000. Yes. What is wrong with that? Because he turned in some That's tax returns and it said, it actually says $42,000. So it's more than 40. And it's more than that. How do you know? 48,000 all over his social media, flaunting money at the strip clubs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where is this extra income coming from? First Sir, of all. It ain't that 42,000 that well, you're claiming I'm, I'm you actually have. asking the questions here, but I asked the same question. Where is this extra income coming from, sir? I don't know where she getting that from. I'm a so barber. The, My money is inconsistent. Okay, so the money that she's talking about that you're flaunting on social media, is that the same 42,000? That's sometimes you just making it stretch. It just be my homeboy's money. It's time, you know, I, I stunt with theirs, you know. Every, from oh, now so you stunt? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got you. I got he. It's not his money. Bamboozling. Oh. Well, it sounds like, like you both use. bamboozled each other. So, in my opinion, like you're both use. pretty even. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to base his child support off of this forty-two thousand from his tax return. That's what he turned in. If you can show proof that his income is more than 42000 you can come back to court, and I will entertain it, sir, okay? Yes, ma'am. But today, this is what we're going to go off of. So at 42000 that makes his gross $3,500 a month, 
which brings your net down to $2,950.42. Do you have any other children, Mr. Scott? I got one other child. One other child, okay. Um, did that mom bamboo? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, so one other child, that brings your child support obligation to $472. And Medicaid, I'm only allowed to take up to 9% of your gross. So 9% of that 3,500 will be $315 that has to be reimbursed to Medicaid, you understand? So your monthly obligation total is $787. All right. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you have any questions? No, ma'am. Okay, all right. And are you gonna be a part of Emory's life? Hey, I got to, it's my, it's my, my DNA. Okay, all right, I would, I would really like to see you do that. And I would like to see you guys be friends. So you have to be nice. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you have any other questions? That is all. Okay, if there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. That is good. <clears throat> Hi guys, it's me, Judge Vonda B, and I have a little helper with me today. I just wanted to go over what you all witnessed in the Golden case. So this case was pretty straightforward. Mom and dad had a relationship, had a child. Mom is seeking for dad to pay child support. Dad took a DNA test, was confirmed as the father. Now. You heard mom say that she was upset that he was not correctly reporting his income. Well, the court can only go based off of what he actually produces. He produced a tax return showing his financial income, and that's what we based his child support off of. 